today begins our first day. We're gonna, of course, jog to work. And my to be assistant called. She said, this is our space. Number two, and there's no sign up yet. All right, so I just got introduced to my new teammates. Here they are. Hi. Hi. So this is our office. This is my, my office. Okay. Travel and chiropractic are two of my passions in this world. And I'm very proud to be able to experience those things today and the next few weeks in Jamaica. So I wanted to make certain that both of my teammates were adjusted. So this is Jody Ann. She's my first patient this return to Jamaica. This Jody Ann is pretty difficult because it's kind of okay. Okay. Cool. I'll give you a pointer foot. Okay. Woo! Jodi Ann is pregnant, so I don't want to do any anteriorities or prone adjustments on her. So we're going to do a standing distraction. Your back. Mm -hmm. Drop your arms. Come with me. Look up. This is Galia. She is extremely apprehensive of chiropractic care. So obviously being the doctor in the clinic, I asked her if we could do some light treatment, no cracking, some simple massage, some stretching, and she was still nervous about that. Thank you very much though for letting me treat you. She worked through that process and after that, later on, she came back for her second visit in the same day and we actually adjusted her during that visit. Ladies, thank you very much for being a uh, support team here while I'm in Jamaica. I really appreciate that. Yeah, okay. Our patient here injured his shoulder on uh, opening a gate. How long ago was that? About two years ago. Two years ago. So all the muscles of his left shoulder are inhibited. They're not working properly. So we're going to do some quick trigger point work on those areas and then go back and retest. You might also have a C7 that's out, but I adjusted his C1 being his first visit. All right, now we're gonna do this test again. You ready? Uh, push up, go. Good, bend this arm. Don't let me push down. So these all failed a moment ago. Okay. Don't let me push. Uh, I'm gonna push that way. Don't. Good. How was that? When you come in again on Thursday, remind me we're going to adjust a different area on your neck, okay? okay. You relax. I got you. Tell your friends, okay? Sure, I will. Initially, when my employer wanted to have me come, I was going to mimic the other doctor's adjustment style because that sometimes causes less transitional issues for patients. But my employer gave me the authorization to do what I do. And I'd like to thank him publicly for that. Dr. Harvey, thank you. All right, you move around and see how that feels. Well, yeah. See you this Thursday. Yes, Doc. Thank you so much. Thank you. My patient Morris here wants me to come back to Jamaica. Morris, why do you want me to come back? I just, not even 10 minutes ago, I met you and you do something for me my body, and it's feeling, I'm feeling a bit like a 10 years I've gone. <laughs> 10 years I've gone. Doc, you need to come back. Please, make arrangement and come back. Uh, 
Other people will be grateful. I know, I know. It's... Other people will be grateful. Doc, you need to come back. Bring everybody here. You need to come back. You need to come back, Doc. Thank you. you need Thank to come you. Back. You need to come back. You feeling better? Yes. Don't shoot me if I don't come back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Galia. Being second session, I had Jodi Ann in the room with us to keep her comfortable. She's still nervous. I walk her through and tell her what I'm about to do, but she's, once again, this is her first chiropractic visit adjustment ever. I'm gonna give you a little push on your neck. How's that? It's gonna be itchy, it's a little crack. <laughs> Why did you tell me? Well, you're a patient. <laughs> I'm going to walk you through it. Here, I'm going to bend you like this. And I'm going to give you a little push. You may or may not crack. And that was it. For your first time, you did great. Next time, everything will be much easier. I promise. So you've been here before, obviously. Then. Right. So right. When I've eat, eaten garden. I, I see. I see. I see. I see. I'm going to take off your shoes. <laughs> I take off the shoes. I won't be able to put them back on. I'm, I'm, I'm damn it. I'm, I'm that that, that, that is his patient. Who? My oh. dad is his patient. Got you, got you, got you, got you. So, okay, let's do this. I'll have you start on your back then. All right. Let me take off the cap. Just the cap. Yeah. So your dialysis too? Yeah. So does it hurt to bend or what's it hurt to do? It hurts. It hurts basically to, sometimes to bend and even to walk. Okay. It, it's an it's a, a effort to, to actually lift my leg sometimes. Okay. So um, it's, it makes between the dialysis as well as the what? Is this a scar or is this just a skin? Um, that's, that's a scar for me. That one scar told me that his trauma is recent and this is where his problems began. It's where he started having his movement issues, his loss of strength, probably brain fog, all the things associated with head trauma. I've been falling on this surface. Recently? Yeah, recently. Did, your, did you have a loss of strength after that in your body? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, we're gonna change your treatment. I'm gonna have you stand right here for me. You're gonna give me your back. My camera angles were not great for my first day of practice here in Jamaica. Look up. So at this point, he's not a traditional chiropractic patient. Now he's a TBI or brain injury patient. So we're gonna treat him a little differently, gonna do a few different things on him and take it slow. Chris, I'm gonna check your leg strength. We're gonna look for something, okay? Chris, I'm gonna push this leg down towards the table. You're gonna push up towards the sky. You're gonna, you're gonna resist me pushing down. Okay. Push up for me. Push up, 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 up. Try this one, Chris. Push up, 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 up. Chris, try this one. Push out for me. Out to the side. Yeah, push, 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 push. Chris, look at me. Push your leg towards the door. Go. Push, 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 push. Okay. So the first location I went to check was Chris's C1 and his atlas to see what impact that had upon his leg strength. Remember, he's talking about having leg weakness. So we want to find out what joints out of place causing his muscles to feel weak and inhibited. Chris, we're going to try out four tests again, okay? Okay. Push up towards the sky. Push up. It did work. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to do that one. There was no reason to test the other test with that initial one failing. I, I should have probably checked the second one just in case there was a leg muscular issue. However, after mobilizing his C7 going back, that did fire up all his lower extremities. So that's the segment I'm going to adjust. Towards the door. Perfect. Try this one to push towards the wall. Perfect. Okay. We're going to give you a small adjustment on your low neck. Okay. Okay. 
So due to the fact I don't have my table, my elevation table, I'm going to get close to the ground. I'm going to come in and use my legs. We're going to do a coupled adjustment on a C7 with a thumb maneuver. Can I pull on your feet? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. You relax. A little pull. Now, I had already performed a distraction. However, I want to get a few of his upper thoracics, and he didn't have a lot of movement when he did the upright standing distraction maneuver. You needed that, huh? Oh, my goodness. What? That's like Rudy, what a relief. You like that? Oh, my God, that's such a relief. Oh. I'm going to show everybody pitting a demon real quick. For those of you back home, this is pitting edema. It's where it leaves an indentation. And because I'm a chiropractor that does muscle testing with the legs, I can feel it in patients when they get on my table. Okay. So usually a combination of a kidney or a liver or a cardio. It's a water retention issue. Right. So that's why you're saying if you took off your shoes, you couldn't get them yeah. back on. So that's pitting edema, everybody. Okay, so we had a left shoulder, left neck, mm -hmm. right low back. Let's do this. Chris, I'm gonna sit you up. Okay. I'm pushing down, head straight. Oh, wow. You're a dialysis patient, too. Yeah. That's a fist over there. I've never felt that before. <laughs> wow. Your entrance. So the fist is here. And they usually go two more up and then the arterial insert here. So they plug in here? Yeah, they plug in here for, for it to come out. Uh -huh. And then they plug back in here to come back in. So it goes from there to the machine. I've never felt that. I can feel the blood going through. What an interesting sensation. Absolutely. Chris, bend this arm for me. I'm going to push it that way. It's going to stop you from doing it. But I don't want your head straight. Don't let me push. So we have a loss of all three major muscle groups. I'm pushing down, you're pushing up. Ready? Push up. Good. How's this push up for me? Good. How's this? Don't let me push. How are those? Much better. Yeah. Do you need help getting up? No. I feel better. Let's go ahead and walk to the front door and just see how that feels. How's that? I love that then. And that does. Yeah. You have more strength in your legs? Yeah. 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 Thank you for letting me videotape. I really appreciate it. No, no problem. You have more strength in your legs now. You have more strength? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like as unbalanced if after I fell. I found like I said, why am I struggling to, to walk? And yeah. I'm, 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 I'm. What's happened is your brain has lost the ability to control your muscles effectively. Oh, shit. Well, I'm here for three weeks. I'm just like, I'm just like huh. I mean, to, just to come in, I was like, to walk and make a step up, I had to actually say and think, okay, you need to have to lift your leg. Yeah. I mean, going up the steps, I'm like, okay, one. Well, you want to go try the steps right now? I'm no, I don't. Even, I don't even need to try that. I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, just walking alone right now, I'm mm -hmm. like, it's like your strength is better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm like, I mean, even when you're doing the test the second time, I was like, I could actually have, I, was, I felt stronger in the arm. Absolutely. So, and you're losing the ability to control your muscles. That's why you're walking with a. That's why you're staggering. Mm -hmm. That's why you have a loss of strength. You have a loss of coordination. You have a loss of balance. Wow. 
right? So I'm great for you here in Jamaica. I promise you that. Amen. There's just nothing. There's no medication you can take that will make this. I know. I know. I know. One of the important points Chris has hit upon here is that chiropractic can increase proprioception. And if we can do that properly, we can stimulate the brain and increase the patient's ability to move. Medication cannot do that. You can thank Dr. Allen. Thanks, Dr. Allen. Thanks, Doc. At the end of the day, Jody Ann and I closed out. One of the interesting things about Jamaica is it's a matriarchal society. Women here have no problem telling men what to do. They can drive too fast, you know that, right? Yeah, they do. It's just average speed. No, it's not average. <laughs> average. No. It's average. No. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. No. They... I'm not asking. I'm telling. We have less accident than in America, though. Are you sure? And you all have big roads. And guess what? still have more accident than us because <laughs> what we have is two sides of the road right now that is one road for you guys and yet still y'all move someone over easily damn look at that big road that you still move someone over <laughs> yes i said it uh, i did said it <laughs> very funny very funny it's funny. true uh, maybe i don't know i haven't ran the numbers i'll just take your word for it <laughs> So Jody Ann is showing me the store. Do they have bottled water in glass? Yes, they do. That was my first work day in Jamaica. Flawless.